All right, topic of the day today. Long tossing and strength training on the same day. I had one of my players ask me this question, so I figured I'd make it a vlog today so everybody would be able to hear my answer. So, it's off season time, right? We're working on getting our arm strength, we're working on being able to throw harder, so we're doing our long tossing, okay? We're also trying to build muscle, get more explosive, more powerful in the weight room, so we're doing our strength training. Here's the thing, if I'm going to maximize my potential, okay, being able to long toss efficiently and also be able to maximize my potential in the weight room without getting injured, and my number one thing and the number one reason I'm going to recommend this is to prevent overuse, to prevent injury. So I'm going to schedule my strength training and my long tossing on separate days. And again, the, the main reason for this is to prevent overuse. When I was in high school, I had months and months of time on different years where I would focus on strength training and long tossing and I'd do them on the same day. And on other years, I would do my long tossing and my, and my strength training on separate days. There wasn't any specific reason at the time that I was doing this. It was just because that's what my schedule, schedule allotted at the time. And so this is what I had found from my experience in doing this. And now after all these years of training of athletes. If I'm going to long toss and strength train the same day, I'm going to put a lot of pressure and a lot of stress on my throwing arm, okay? And some guys can get away with doing it. The guys that don't throw as hard can long toss all day, every day, and lift all day, every day. They're not going to have any issues because they're not putting the stress on their arm throwing 85 plus. Now, the higher level of athletes, okay, the higher level athlete you are, the, the harder that you're throwing, the more time that you are going to need between that, that long toss to your strength training. And for me, if I'm scheduling optimally, right, we're going to schedule on separate days, but that's not how it is, okay? So what do I got to do to maximize and prevent any kind of injury and prevent anything from happening? Well, if I'm going to do it on the same day, I'm going to try to space them out, okay? I'm going to try not doing them back to back. If I end up having them do them back to back, that's fine. The things that we have got to do is we've got to work on what I call a pre-warm-up. And I'm going to do a pre-warm-up series here in a little bit for every little part of the body, like the shoulders, the elbows, the ankles, the knees. And these pre-warm-ups for those special, those high-risk injury parts of our body, what they're trying to do is we're trying to create mobility and stability around those joints and try to keep them strong while also mobile to prevent them from getting injured. So if I'm doing my long tossing, right, I'm out with my team or I'm out with my buddy, I'm doing my long toss trying to get stronger. I go straight from there to weight training, okay, or vice versa. I do my, my strength training, and then I go straight out to long toss. I'm going to spend at least 10 to 15 minutes doing mobility exercises for the high-risk areas. So what's the high-risk areas as a baseball player going from the weight room to uh, the field or the field to the weight room? It's the elbow, okay? All right, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna take care of the elbow. We're going to work on mobility. We're going to work on, on the strength, a little bit of exercise to make sure it's loose, okay? Get some blood flow in there. Right? It's the shoulder. I'm going to do some exercises to make sure I take care of my shoulder, make sure I'm not creating any kind of imbalances, right? I'm going to make sure I'm getting proper scap mobility, scap movement, all right? To make sure that I'm not overhead and I'm having to compensate, all right? I'm going to work on thoracic mobility in my middle of my back, okay? I'm going to work on lower back. I'm going to work on my hips to make sure I'm getting full rotation and that full internal rotation while I'm throwing to make sure I'm not using all upper body and all trunk in my throats. These are things that you have to think about that nobody thinks about, especially at the high school level and even at the college level. These are things that I have to prevent and I have to do, which is also known as prehab, okay? Prehab are movements and exercises for the mobility and stability to prevent me having to do rehab from an injury in the future, okay? So keep this in mind. Optimally, if I'm going to schedule my strength training and uh, my long toss, I'm going to do them on separate days. That's not how the world is. We're busy. We've got things that are going on, okay? We've got classes. We've got studying that we got to do. We've got tests that we got to prepare for. Some of you might have jobs, okay? So if you have to do them on the same day, I advise, make sure that you are doing a pre-warm-up to work on the mobility for little issues and little high-risk areas. How do you know what your high-risk areas are? Look back in your career and think about what injuries you've had in the past, where you felt tender in the past, okay? Those are your high risk areas you're going to work on to make sure you get a good, strong warm up. I don't care how warm up, how warm you are from lifting, okay? That's not going to transition onto the field. You need to warm up again. And I don't care how warm you, how warm you are from log tossing, you're going to warm up again when you get in the weight room, okay? 
So that's the topic of the day today, long toss and strength training on the same day. Some guidelines that you want to follow to make sure you don't overuse, overuse your arm or get hurt. Make sure you follow these rules. Make sure you like and sub subscribe. And until uh, next time, Larry's Training, out.